tied up on the road. Oh. Good morning, guys. Good morning. How are you doing? How's today, this? Sir? How's this horse doing over here? She's doing fine so far. Fantastic. We're gonna go somewhere else. So we're here at the Oregon State University, University of of Commercial Services in Managua. Uh, there's a team of 38 people, nine veterinarians, and the rest are all students. <clears throat> we're gonna go here into the clinic. Uh, we have a bunch of locals with their dogs, cats, goats, donkeys, cows, horses, and so on. These are free veterinary services that the people from Oregon uh, is providing to the local community. Uh, here's this machine here to figure their cardiac problems with the pets. Uh, here we're, uh, we're they're neutering a little cat. Good morning, guys. Slide with your, with your thumb force up, grab an opposite side of the body wall. Slide those in and spread them so you're lifting up the abdomen. There you go. Spread so you can see that. Okay, we're going to keep on going. This is the diagnostics area. We're going to see what this little, these two students from OSU are doing to this dog. Good morning, guys. What are you guys doing to this dog? It's a hairless dog. Mm -hmm. Is that the way it is, or it's just uh, it's got a problem? There we go. I believe it's the way it is. Oh, yeah. okay. So, what are you guys doing to the dog? Oh, yeah. So they're intubating the dog uh -huh. uh, in order to establish a patent airway for surgery. Okay, so she's heading to the <laughs> surgery table after this. That'll be your next step. Okay, very good. We're gonna go to this other table over here and see what they're doing. <laughs> Good morning. What are you doing over here with all this stuff? Drawing up some drugs. Oh, you're getting ready for uh, for those folks at the other end? To them right there, yeah. Okay, very good. Now, uh, this is the the area where we have some of the kids. I brought in some dogs this morning and some cats. Buenos días, ¿cómo están, muchacho? Y esta es una gatita. Okay, ¿y cuántos años tiene la gatita? Tres. Tres años. Ah, uh, this is a little cat, and she's uh, three years old. Let's take a peek at her. Good morning, how are you? Okay. All right. So we got another area here. Some of the children that brought in some dogs this morning. There's another hound dog there at the end. But this is in March. So we want them, this is the label they use if they've had surgery, that's it, right? Because then they get it here. Oh, okay. okay. So you could just cross yeah. out it. Okay. 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 All right. Very good. Okay, so that's the deal. Good morning, guys. What are you guys doing to this little dog over here? Taking some blood. <laughs> oh, blood samples. Okay. Yeah. And then it goes to where? Uh, this is a wellness, so he's gonna go home after that. Okay, so we took care of that dog last year. Is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. very good. Okay, here we got. Uh... Good morning, guys. What are you guys doing over here? It's a centrifuge machine. Okay. More lab stuff. More. Uh... This is the warm, uh, the all the nasty parasites that dogs, cats, and horses, and cows get. So what are you preparing here at the, this portable lab? This lab, we're gonna, we're doing some blood smears. Okay. That's what we're working on right now. So we gotta mix up the blood, okay. put it on here, and make a beautiful feathered edge. Then it goes to the microscope. Yep, then it goes to the microscope for analysis. Okay, let's see what they have to say. Okay. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. I'm doing a little video for you of you guys. What are you doing right now with this uh, microscopes? We have a fecal on there that we're trying to identify. There is um, an egg that's kind of. Yeah. I think it might have been okay. that. Okay. Have you figured out the egg already? No, we're working on it. We think it's a roundworm, and oh, okay. so it's a dog, so it's not cat eye. Okay, and so what, else, what, what else are you doing as far as research over here to figure out uh, what's going on with the I'm, animals? I'm not doing research. Oh, you're not so doing yeah, research? No, we're just doing diagnostics. Okay, right some here. of the students are doing yeah, some research. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, very good. And where are you from? Um, Oregon. Okay. <laughs> and what is your name? Johanna. Johanna what? Rodriguez. Okay. And you, you are a teacher at Oregon State? I'm or? a resident in diagnostics. Okay, yeah. very good. Veterinary clinical pathology. And how many years have you been there? Um, I have doing, I've been doing this for two years, but I was also a student there for four years, so okay. I'm in my sixth year there. And how did you learn about the this brigade that comes in every year to, to the Ometepe my, my Island? My classmate, Brianna Beachler, is the one that started. Oh, she's the one who spearheaded the project with me uh, yeah. four years ago. Yes. Okay, I was sitting in a, ha in a hammock and I wrote a, a big uh, email and I just uh, sent it to a bunch of people and somehow somebody forwarded the yeah. information to her and from there on it's history. Yep. Now we have like nine veterinarians, a bunch of students yeah. and it's big. Yeah. Okay, well thank you very much and have a good day, okay? Thank you. Good morning, how are you today? Uh, this is our Peace Corps volunteer. Uh, we're doing a little video for uh, for the clinic. What are you doing here with us uh, today? I'm helping translate. Oh, you're one of the translators. Okay. Very good. Well, communication skills back in the United States are very important. So when we land at these communities, we can communicate a lot better. Okay, very good. So we actually have some of our bilingual students here uh, translating also, right? They're helping you guys out? Okay, very good. We go. Okay, here's a hound dog just waiting to be taken care of. ¿Cómo se llama el perrito? Se llama Rambo. Rambo. It's got a problem in his mouth. ¿Tiene un problema en la boca? Sí. Oh, it looks like he has a tumor. ¿Tiene como un tumor aquí abajo? Okay, and he's a little skinny. So his name is Rambo and we're going to take care of it. Le estoy hablando en inglés, pero, pero en realidad eh, lo vamos a, le vamos a dar una manito a Rambo. ¿eh? Una mano. Ok, that's the end of the little video that we did to let you guys know what, uh, what we do over here with dogs, cats, and all these wonderful animals that need some help. Anyway, if you're back in the U.S., you can adopt one of these animals by logging into the website. Uh, and you can pay $20. We'll send you a picture, a wonderful picture of what we did with the pet, what we treated them for. And this guy will be seen very, very quickly. He's on the shovey side. Usually we, we get a lot of very thin uh, dogs, very thin dogs and cats. Anyway, have a wonderful day, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.